Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and you might know me as the Pokemon MMO guy. But today, we're playing an entirely different multiplayer Pokemon experience with different balancing, new things to talk about and discuss, and new adventures to be had. With over 8,000 hours or so in Pokemon MMOs, I feel like I have a pretty good understanding of what it takes to balance an economy and breeding and other systems within a Pokemon MMO format. However, with less than 50 or so hours in Pixelmon, I don't know a whole lot how much that information transfers over and if it transfers over at all. Now, thankfully, I at least do have around 2,000 hours in Minecraft experience starting back in Alpha 1.2.6, right before the switch over to Beta. Yes, I'm aware that I'm getting old. But today, this 26-year-old boomer is going to jump into this server here, PixelFam, which is the sponsor of this video, and I want you guys to know that up front and foremost, but... I also know that they're going to do an incredibly beautiful job and have an incredibly beautiful server for a new player or veteran Pixelmon player alike. Being an older school Minecraft player, it's unbelievably impressive to me how streamlined everything is. I loaded into this server and they were like, hey, yeah, I recommend you use this resource pack. Do you want us to download it and install it for you? I click yes, and it just does it. I can't tell you guys how annoying downloading old mod packs, texture packs, etc. Getting that stuff into Minecraft was back when I was 12 years old or so. And even then, like that was seen as like a more easy task on the internet, just dealing with zip files and dragging them over and such and yada yada. Nowadays, it's just so unbelievably streamlined that anybody has access to it. And that's always a good thing. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Thank you for installing this mod. Now, please pick your desired Pokemon. Is this the most difficult decision we'll be confronted with today? I kind of doubt it. I'm not a huge starter guy. I feel like for a lot of people, this is like the hardest decision. Uh, honestly, and for me, it's still pretty tough. And I don't even love starters that much. My number ones that I can think of, like I like Squirtle a lot. Squirtle, Trico, Turtwig, Snivy are all kind of up there for me. I like the idea of learning some of the later Gen, Gen, Gen Pokemon, or I can stick with my boy squirtle i feel like since being old is the theme of this video we're gonna go ahead and pick squirtle and begin our adventure and we get a little achievement for actually doing that there we go squirtle has been picked we already see some what is this behemoth what this is what i'm talking about where like there's like circles in minecraft god this looks amazing what I'm sure there's like 14 year olds now that can, oh my God, watch this and be like, yeah, dude, this has been in the game for like 20 years, you know, like, come on, man, pick, pick up the pace, old man. Uh, but this is like genuinely mind opening to me. I've never seen anything like this in the game that I've been playing for so long. Click me to join our discord. I, dude, I really like servers like this. This is a personal preference, I will say. Even growing up, these were always the type of servers that I played on. This server has 17 people online. That's the perfect amount, in my opinion. I like smaller servers that have that communal aspect, and you can kind of get to know everybody, talk to everybody, really be a positive impact on that community in a really large and meaningful way. But there's still enough people to where there'll always be a couple people online, and it still feels really active and exciting. I think that's the perfect kind of Minecraft community to me. I'm the quickest person to judge unnecessary variants of Pokemon, but every single variant that I'm seeing is just phenomenal. Obviously the shiny over here, the lava onyx is so unbelievably incredible. And then look at this Zubat with the sort of veiny stuff going through his wings. Extremely tasteful in my opinion. Don't know where to start, watch our tutorial video. Yes, please. All right, I'm pretty stubborn and I hate watching tutorial videos like this, but honestly, that video was way more helpful than I could have imagined. So I know now that I want to go over to this guy and right click him, the random teleport NPC, whenever I'm ready to go explore into the wild. But quickly before I do that, I do want to actually, they have wonder trade. That's so cool. I do want to quickly explore the world and actually see, let's look like a little butterfly tower over there. I am obsessed. I don't know what it is. Oh, there's Celebi. Oh, wow. This, these kind of trees, man. This to me streams Pokemon. This like fantasy-esque, like cartoonish level of animation, the like colorful trees. I don't know why this is the kind of environment that I absolutely love in a fantasy world. And this just, it just works so well on this kind of server. Is that a wild wing all flying? Oh my god, it's the newer generation Pokemon. I'm not used to this, man. I'm used to Pokemon MMOs, which are usually behind on updates, and usually play like Generation 5 and below Pokemon. I'm not seeing the new little guys like this, so I'm going to have a lot to get used to and a lot to learn. But we've got to take it one step at a time. 
Otherwise, you end up like me and super distracted. So you know what? First things first, let's just go ahead and randomly teleport out into the wild and try to find a new home for us. All right, this seems like a fantastic place to start out. It did turn nighttime because I've kind of been dilly-dallying, but that's also okay. I haven't noticed any scary mobs coming for me, and I've also remembered how to throw out my Pokemon. Squirtle, the chosen one, the R key. It may seem simple to you guys, but I don't play too much uh, Pixelmon, and it's a lot to always remember. I'm going to go ahead and smack my first tree, the monumental achievement that it is in Minecraft. This spot is seriously giving me old school Minecraft vibes. The fact that it spawns me on top of a little sand bank by a little lake, like this is very, very common. And I think I'm going to do an underground base. I'm a huge fan of like very hidden underground bases in Minecraft multiplayer servers, mostly just out of protection and like actually saving myself. Um, obviously, you don't have to do that on this server. Uh, you should spawn with a, I believe, a golden shovel or have access to a golden shovel to be able to um, like plot your land and claim your stuff and so people can't grief you uh but the old brain within me requires that i hide my things so people can't grief me even though they physically can't we also spawn directly next to some coal which i almost didn't realize so oh and there's mining levels i oh, i know that's may i don't know if this is automatic i don't know how servers work nowadays to be honest but i just i loved a server a, a, a mostly vanilla minecraft server with pokemon elements or rpg elements like that it's just my kind of favorite cup of tea so let me go ahead and get that stone pick really quick grab some of this coal and further into our minecraft adventure all right, 20 coal just from that first vein. And I noticed there's another spawn of coal down here. That's like really, really, this is a fantastically good beginner spawn. I don't know if, ooh, what is, I don't even know what this is. Is that going to mess up? Uh, it seems like I can't mine that with stone. I feel like that will end up breaking that as opposed to actually gathering the resource. I don't know if these are new resources. I, I'll have to figure that out in a quick sec. Um, what I was trying to say was I don't know if RTP is like totally random or if it actually like kind of scours the area and gives you a good position based on what level of play you're at. Like if you're a new player, will it always try to position you near coal or not? That's a really, really interesting. I don't know like whether it's actually specifically coded uh, to be somewhat random and give you somewhat of a good start or if it's just totally random entirely. Uh, I'd, I'd be surprised if it, this is a really fantastic beginner location. And I feel like consistently giving a new player that really good experience by just not having them scour everywhere for a little bit of coal or being so far from wood or randomly spawning them into the middle of an ocean, probably a good thing to kind of control a little bit. Plenty of coal to go ahead and make a bunch of torches, put these over in the shield slot. I want to adventure down in this cave now and not leave quite yet. Is this like these are different resources that I don't actually know about. I assume these are from the mod pack. I'm going to try to mine this and see if it breaks. Yeah. I can't mine that. I'm assuming the same with this. I'm going to try to find some iron and get an iron pick so I can actually... I don't know how common these resources are. Because I'm not familiar with these. Okay, thankfully I found a little pocket of iron so I can explore these new materials. I achieved level 5 miner already. I'm kind of just getting distracted and ignoring the pixel mod element and just playing Minecraft. But hey man, there's nothing wrong with that in a server like this. You know, you can do whatever you want and play the game however you enjoy. But it seems like I unlocked a steel minor madness if i try to right click is that going to do anything i don't know how to use minor madness i'm sure you guys will let me know i think we got just enough cobble to go ahead and get a stone axe to actually help me get some more wood and obviously create the furnace so i can smelt this iron really quick is this a wild pokeball can i it's just mine this pick this up how does this uh, how do you function little fella um Okay, I'm going to mine the dirt below it. Maybe that'll... Oh, nope. I don't know how this... Oh, I right-click it. It's a wild item. I got an ice gem. Wait, that's... Oh, wow. Dude, I love mods like this that explore... You know, exploration in traditional Minecraft is interesting. You can see new biomes. You can see new wood types. You can see new things, right? But, man, mods like this that just it further enhance that incentive to explore right the incentive and the benefit of playing the game no matter how you like it if you want to grind mining and get levels you can do that if you want to just run around and explore and get levels and get items you can do that like i love the the versatility in which you want to play the game one iron pickaxe later let's go ahead and discover what these quote-unquote new resources are at least to me right here what do we got crystal i don't know if that's a Pixelmon specific or mod specific material. What's the second one? Is this copper bauxite? Can't believe they made a whole ore just for boxes. 
another new resource over here. I like grabbing all of this because I don't know what will be used for like actually creating and crafting Pokeball silicon. I feel like something like that, like some of these items might be used in the Pixelmon elements or actually like creating of creation of Pokemon items, which is gonna be super important if I want to go farm shinies and catch shinies or or Ivy, you know, farm or try to breed for I don't I don't know what's available in this game, but having all these resources at the start is gonna be more important to me than than leaving them. Or maybe it's Copium, and this is just the inner completionist in me who wants to mine every little resource I see possible. I don't know why I never think of the ability to find actual Pokemon within the caves themselves. It's not something I even consider a possibility. But you know what? Let me go ahead. There's so many things here. What is this? Well, first, let me mine this Ruby-type material. I don't know what's needed for what. There's so many resources I'm kind of leaving behind slightly here. Yeah, Ruby. Okay, cool. Awesome. Perfect. Let's go battle. I really do want a Diglett, but this guy's lower level, and I like that. It gives me the possibility to actually defeat him. Let's jump into our first Pokemon battle. Obviously going to click Water Gun. I like that it's not automated. You actually just to like click what moves you want. It's not automated like I feel like a lot of systems can be. He's going to go for Harden. I'm going to go for Water Gun. I'm going to defeat him handedly. Easy peasy wheezy. Come on. Keep going for it. I assume turn two. Okay. Water Gun. Super effective. This guy four times weak to it. I feel like this is the one guy that becomes that big honky fella who has the, uh, who's like, I think he's like ground fire. I don't know the new Pokemon enough. There we go. We even get some little, uh, we get some little items from it as well. So granite, one of my favorite building materials in Minecraft. All right, but I've got to get back on track. Step one, collect resources. Step two. And then step three, profit. Okay, I really like stuff like this because new players like me, I feel like there's so many benefits into just playing on and being in a server like this. And new players like me would easily forget it or not understand it or be overwhelmed. So the chat does actually remind you like, hey, you have a daily bonus. If you want to click it, feel here to feel, just click here and it just guides you through it. Thank you for that. But I've got 10 Pokeballs so I can actually kind of catch some Pokemon next time I encounter a battle. That's good news. So now I don't have to slaughter every single Pokemon that I see. Speaking of next Pokemon battle, it's time to fight. Come here, Rod and Rolla. I'm going to try to catch this guy. I'm going to go for a water gun turn one. I assume Pokeballs. Yep, are just nice and over here. Okay, it should be pretty simple to follow along. Oh, do we crit? How do we do it? Put him down 11.5%. I assume it's just the lowest base special defense. Let's go for... That's my Pokemon over here. Items, Pokeballs. Use one over on him. We can zoom in a little bit here to see the capture. Okay, perfect. Three shakes. Three? Easy peasy? Easy peasy. Rock and roll achieve. We got like four achievements there. It's a mystery. One for the money. What an achievement. A Pokemon of a different color. Cool. And if you press I, you can actually browse through your Pokedex. That's really... You can even type in it really, really easily. The animations look super sick. Its ear is hexagonal in shape. Its ear... And they tell, that's what I was looking for. And it tells you the spawn locations. Okay, now, if you know me, you know what I'm probably checking here. Can I see? I can't see its spawn locations, my favorite Pokemon Chuckle, without encountering one. Okay, well, we've got a couple goals for the series. I seem to be doing a really good job of always coming to the surface when it's nighttime. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a Leaf Stone Shard, of course. Okay, wait, stuff like that is actually probably really important to keep an eye out for. Get out of here, you rat. Actually, come here, rat. Wait, you're level two. You're easy XP. I'm definitely not catching you. See you later, mate. Rest in peace. We got cooked mutton <laughs> for killing the rat. Okay. All right, now that I have enough bauxite to build enough fortresses for a couple different kitties with giant cardboard boxes in my new home that I travel to, let's go ahead and actually find a place for our home. And I was going to do an underwater, underground one, but I'm going to... Ooh, in, in my face, bro. Um, I'm going to be honest, guys. I found a different location that I'm kind of in love with, and I don't normally do above ground homes. I'm kind of a dig into a big mountain or dig underwater or make my location at a little alcove like this it's just too perfect speaking of too perfect i mean the leaf shard is just leading me over to this location there we go we'll pick that one up and i just i love i love little entrances like this it looks like it should be the entrance to a home and then i can later convert this like entire little mini uh alcove little mini quarry section over into my home and i really like that idea oh i just realized wait can i win this 
Oh, no, he was the... I was actually really close. So, oh, man, this is... I love when servers do this. So there's little games that pop up every so often. Um, so, for example, Pixel Games. You have 20 seconds to unscramble this word. I was close. I almost got it. Uh, congrats to Nitro, who actually was able to snag that. So if you do it, these little, like, trivia games fast enough, uh, you just get little prizes, which keeps you engaged, keep you enjoying the server. And it's just fun, man. It's just another little element to add to Minecraft to keep you gaming. I can totally imagine a world where I'm kind of just chilling, like enjoying the house that I've built, just hanging out, talking with people in chat, and also playing trivia every time it pops up. Like, that's just a fun experience. I feel like Minecraft is one of those games that can become an alternative life, can become an alternative world where you really kind of relax, hang out, build a community, uh, and just sort of enjoy the fruits of your labor once you've grinded so hard for them. Why is Cricket Tot so small? I've got to kill it. I killed the twerp. All right, anyways, let me go ahead and set up shop here and do a little bit of clearing on this land. And I'm going to get some actual building materials, probably chop down some wood to add some little sort of pillars on the sides to mark my little territory. What I probably should do beforehand is learn how to claim. I'm assuming it's going to be something like slash claim. Let's go ahead and see. Use slash. Okay, slash claim mode is on. Left click to inspect. Right click to claim. No one has claimed this block. You may claim up to... 213 more blocks. I always like that stuff like this. 2D claim enabled. Okay. Let me go ahead and mostly just claim. I don't know the best way to do this. I always, I feel like I always mess up claims somehow because I always want to build like a more of a 3D space than they, than they kind of give you. But let me go ahead and figure, I'm sure it's, 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 it's a me problem. Okay. So there's the first corner. And then what if I put the other corner like over here? The problem is I probably, I need to dig out where I want the other corner to be, don't I? All right, I think this spot is going to do it. You guys will see what I'm out at here in a quick sec. So if I claim that, the problem is <laughs> I may have made an accidental <laughs> small claim over here. And then I come over here and try this. You don't have enough blocks. Okay, that's fair. What if I move it down to here? Claim list basic because it would overlap. Yeah, so I have to delete. Let me figure out how to do this and I can teach you guys as well. All right, I think I figured it out. If you type slash abandon claim down here, or slash abandon all claims or slash abandon all or slash if you, well, if you click the claim <laughs> and then you type slash abandon claim, or or uh, oh sorry 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 if you uh, if you click the if you click the claim and then you abandon all okay if you uh resizing claim use your tool again at the new location oh of course i yes i did it right guys there you see first try um first try no problems here nothing went wrong in the recording of this video let's head over to here let's head up here this is the corner that i wanted don't have enough blocks for that. Yes, of course. I knew that. I remembered that. I was told that. That is correct information. True and real. Let's try here. Perfect. First try. All right, guys. After 20 minutes, I mean, sorry, 20 seconds of fiddling around, I have been able to claim my property with no boomer brains required. The epic music is playing from the server, by the way, which I feel like is kind of poetic. It hasn't been doing that this whole time. Just, just now, when I was trying to learn how to do this. I just realized, why is this edgy pink? Wait, oh, I missed him. Come back, he's so fast. Please, Pidgey, I want to catch you. There we go, perfect. Why is he pink like this? I'm interested. Do I even want to go for the water gun? I think one water gun is fine. I just don't want to kill him here. Let's see how much damage we do. Water gun, down to 66. Okay, I can water gun again. A crit shouldn't even kill. We can transfer over that and look at him. He's going for like a, a peck. Look at these guys. They're just hanging out. They're just absolutely playing around. Okay, we're going for the Pokeball here. 29% HP, level eight Pidgey. He's pink. Why the hell is he pink? He gets put into the ball, sucked into it absolutely securely. He's going to go for three shakes, four shakes, three shakes, and we catch him. We got a pink Pidgey. Pretty in pink. What's the specialty Pokemon here? All right, if you head over to your normal Minecraft menu, you can go over here, click Summary, and see what do we got going on. Just a pink, it's just a pink Pidgey. Just for the sake of it, just thought I wanted to dress up before heading out that day. I mean, I have no problems with that. He's a handsome looking fellow. Okay, here we go. We can check over at the stats. 
All right, enough getting distracted. I have a goal in mind. I want to build a house, okay? Can this one man, can we do it? Can we build a house in Minecraft? Can that unbelievably almost impossible tier challenge actually be completed? Today, you'll see such an amazing feat be done, fellas. Or not. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Thankfully, I did remember to slash set home, which is something that everybody should absolutely do. It's probably one of the most, probably one of my favorite things in Minecraft. I set my home to be called Yup, so I can do slash home Yup. It even shows my, my dead corpse. Oh, thanks for reminding me. Keep inventory is on, which is actually how I like to play Minecraft personally, so I am guilty for loving that more casual style of play. I feel like a lot of the balancing changes implemented, like even like the hunger, I have, I've noticed I haven't gotten hungry, guys. I feel like a lot of these balancing changes push you and allow you to focus more on the Pokemon element, the Pixelmon element of the server, as opposed to just playing another Minecraft vanilla survival server, which is understandable. And honestly, it's going to be hugely up to personal preference. I kind of like those survival elements, but at the same time, for a lot of people, even myself when I play, like those survival elements kind of distract. If you're constantly looking for food, they kind of distract and slow down your progress. It's probably better for new players to not have to worry about that and be able to catch up to those older players who have been playing for a while and have a few Pokemon. Oh my god, the swarm of Zubat. Okay, no more distractions, guys. I said that, okay? Chill, relax, okay? Anyways, uh, let's go. We have a lot of wood to chop. We cleared out the area, a little bit of dirt. We have a lot of wood to go gather, and I think this is the perfect time. During this just, like, kind of chill grinding for wood, this is the perfect time to talk about what I think is probably the coolest part about the server, at least in terms of monetization. And I'll be honest with you guys, a lot of Pixelmon servers are really driving home the monetization nowadays. I think it's like a really, really big thing. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, you have to kind of make money to run a server. You have to make money. You have to put, to be able to put the time into it and the love into it. It just, it does make sense, right? Like it has to exist. Minecraft servers aren't cheap. They're, they're pretty expensive, especially if you want to have like admins and stuff like that. But the coolest part about this Pixelmon server and this Minecraft server's monetization is is that you don't actually have to spend money to get rewards from the monetization. Only one person does. And I like this system because it actually rewards you for just being online and playing the game as a free-to-play player. So, on this Pixelmon server, their motto is, if one person buys, everyone wins. So to explain this, if one person goes onto their online store and buys a key for a certain chest on the, on the server, Every single person online gets that key, an exact copy of that exact key. It's not like, a, oh, every person online gets a, you know, 10% of a key, like a key shard, and they have to like save up 10 of those key shards to have one key. Like, oh, you little peasants, saving up your little key shards as one guy can just, no, 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 no. If you're just online, you get the exact same thing that someone else purchases. I don't think I've ever seen a more, like, free-to-play accessible Pixelmon server than this. Like, I've never seen, I feel like servers, like, don't like to do that because they don't want to encourage people to be able to play for free. The fact that this kind of server allows for that amount of, like, progression um, and positive reinforcement with that stuff, I think is really cool. Also, I don't know, man, if you're just coming home, you're having a good day, you're feeling good, and you want to reward everybody else on the server, it's kind of like gifting Twitch subs. I super get, like, oh, man, I want to buy some stuff to have some fun, open some chests. Also, I'm going to like kind of sugar daddy and help the whole server. Yeah, why not, dude? That's amazing. It also works the same exact way with ranks. So if someone were to go purchase like a rank, for example, that would give them certain benefits, everybody else in the server who is online at the time also gets that rank for a week. OK, everybody gets that rank for one week. However, the person who actually bought the rank gets it permanently. So there is benefits to buying stuff. And it's really important to, to, to you know, to, to denote that. But I don't know, man, I've never seen a, a more free to play friendly Pixelmon server. I think this kind of system is just such an unbelievable win-win. Like, there are going to be those people who are super generous and just giga chads of the community who go above and beyond and do support, like, not only the server, but also everyone else online in the community at that time, which is really, really, really incredible to me. But maybe you're, you know, a teenager. Maybe you don't have access to mom's credit card or maybe funds are tight. You don't have to buy anything, which I think is the sign of a good game and a true, honest, uh, you know, Minecraft server or just video game in general nowadays. And if you want to be that ultra sugar daddy giga chad, make sure to use the link in the description. Code Petrowski. I was able to get my own name for this. So thank you so much, Phantom. Code Petrowski to get 10% off in the shop with the link down below. Whether you want to join a new Minecraft server and have a little bit of fun and benefit at the very start, or maybe you've been playing this server for a week or a month already, and you want to go ahead and support or give back or earn a little bit extra. 
there's not really a wrong or bad time to just support a small creator and kind of help out a community along the way. Okay, I was able to win my first little text challenge. I It's actually stupid how much I enjoy those. The dopamine rush, dude. Got the answer. Yeah, I play a lot of card games and a lot of dice games. Okay, how many sides does a dice have? Six. Do you think I guess it could have been? <laughs> um, actually, Mr. Server, it could have been a D20. You didn't specify what side of dice. Anyways, cringe out of the way. Uh, I got, how much, what did I get for that? One, five diamond? Okay, well, trivia, new money-making method, guys. Oh, and someone just listed a stun fisk. Wait, it's my second favorite Pokemon. Ah, I don't know how to buy that or get money. Really quick but important note, you might see there in chat, PokeClear, inactive Pokemon and items were cleared from the world except bosses, shinies, and legends. I really, really respect this. Clearing all random Poke spawns like that, like it's kind of like entity clearing like any sort of Minecraft server. It has to happen, right? It has to be done to prevent lag and keep the thing running really smoothly. I haven't noticed like any lag on this Minecraft server at all, which is really, really impressive. But I really like the fact that they distinctively can go in and recognize, hey, don't clear shinies or bosses or legends, like no matter what. That's so nice. Like if someone, if you're in the situation, like you're seeing a shiny off in the distance and you're trying to run over to it, the idea of that being cleared away would be absolutely devastating. But thankfully, uh, they have something in place to prevent that situation. Why is this Rattata flexing on my corpse? Okay, back at spawn exploring the server a little more, I can actually check out the GTS or like the GTL in Pokemon terms. And we can see, dude, there's some shinies up here. We see a shiny Luxray, a shiny Onyx. There's the Stunfisk I was interested in. To be fair, it is the later generation Stunfisk, less cool to me, but it's level 96. It's a level one shiny larva. Wait, Magma? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. How do I like, can I like see more about this? I can't buy this. I know I can't afford this, but like what is going on here? This has a crazy visual. I feel like it's a specific variant. There's an Eevee as well with a cool variant. Okay. Anyways, XP all ho -ho. Dude, there's some crazy stuff here. That is really, really, really cool. Ma they can sell keys. So if you want in-game uh, yen, I guess. Okay, that's cool. And these little... Why does this look so... Sell stuff? Could I sell... Sell Pokemon, sell item in hand? Okay, so you do get XP just for running. I got level five explorers. So you do get XP just for, and level ups, just for exploring. Once again, another way to encourage that exploration game loop. They also do have a PC access in spawn if you're looking to actually put your Pokemon away, but maybe don't have the resources to build your own PC yet. Also, little trade portals if you want to trade with other players. I assume you can come over to these, and that's what I assume this is. That's so neat. And once again, I want to just give a huge shout out over to Phantom Fan for actually giving me something that he didn't have to do alongside this sponsor. He gave me a little gift card code so that I can actually go ahead, go onto the online shop, buy some cool stuff, and then also be that sugar daddy for a day for everybody online on the server. Now, a cute little aspect of this is that the server actually did just reset, so everybody got logged off. So I'm actually going to wait until enough people are online so that I can give the most people the most benefit when I make this purchase. But that gives me a good amount of time to actually go browse the shop, which is super important. There's a lot to look at. One of the big things here is the new player bundle, which I totally would have missed if I didn't actually browse around. So if you go down to the limited time bundle in the bottom left corner of the shop, once again, this will be linked in the description. You can get the new player bundle. It's a one-time purchase, and it's obviously $50 for only $5. This stuff, this is the kind of stuff, like, if I'm ever going to make any microtransaction in a game, this is what I do. It's honestly such a damn good Kickstarter. It's such a damn good deal. It's hard to ignore. I'm going to go ahead and add this to my cart. All right, after browsing the shop for way too long, because it's way too fun and I get distracted, this is the little bundle that I've come up with, and I feel like it's the perfect bundle. If you want to spend $30 on the game, honestly, you could just spend five and get so much benefit and also help everybody else, else, else out on the server, or you could spend 30 like I'm doing and get the premium battle pass, get the Brock rank, and get the new player bundle, which once again gives you tons of keys, like a, a huge collection of keys. The premium battle pass is going to allow you to actually just play the game and get way more benefits than like buying keys just would um, over a longer period of time, but you do have to play the game and enjoy it. Oh no, don't make me do that. Uh, and then you also get the Brock rank, which is going to give you these benefits. So here are the Brock rank benefits, which obviously the most important one is slash hat, which allows you to use the item you're holding as a hat. You can also open a PC wherever you want and everybody else in the server will get Brock rank for one week as when I buy it. Uh, you can also do slash trash slash workbench slash kit Brock, which is going to give you uh, four rare candies, 64 Pokeballs. Honestly, that's the main thing like that I want from this, honestly, um, just some rare candies to speed up the early game leveling process and 64 Pokeballs to just be able to catch whatever Pokemon I want is really 
really important to me. And you also get a, uh, a Pokeball key crate just for getting this. And once again, also every $10 you spend in the shop, you get another key. I believe it's like the current line of keys. So the Magma key. There's also tons of other options for different ranks and other crate keys and tons of other things in the shop. Once again, this will all be linked in the description. There's Master Ball crates, Shiny crates, etc. You see, I just really like that servers like this really allow you to have the traditional Minecraft experience and original gameplay that's existed since Alpha, just like so. Also, what the hell? This absolute gamer is coming to flex all of their incredible accomplishments on us, and it's honestly working. Shiny High Dragon, the Larvitar Magma. I call me a cheese ball. I ooh, I love these fucking magma Pokemon. They're so cool to me. I like I feel like I'm the first to judge stuff like that, but that's amazing. Why he's so big? But anyways, as I wait for other players to get online so I can get my maximum level of sugar daddiness, I'm going to head back to my house and get back to a little bit of decorating. Why does this Minecraft server have better adventuring music than the Lord of the Rings trilogy? Okay, I won the same trivia game. <laughs> it's the same question, which is funny. I won it twice in a row. Did I win anything this time? And got a prize. I got more diamonds. Okay, I'm at 10 diamonds and I haven't even gone that deep in the ground yet. Outskilled. Alrighty, as you guys can tell by my architectural skills, I have been slaving over this home for hours. It's time for the big reveal. Oh my goodness. What is this? A Minecraft TikTok time lapse? Can you die? <laughs> Can you see? Wow, the evening. Oh my goodness. How much time this must have taken, Mr. YouTuber. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's the best I could do. I've never exactly been the best Minecraft builder, even since Alpha. I just like to kind of dirtle and do what I enjoy and mess around and have fun. And that's what we've been doing today. But you know what, guys? I think it's time. I think it's time to warp back, back to the crates. There are officially nine people online. And you know what? It's not as many as I would have liked. There were like 15 or so online earlier, and I would have loved to uh, do this then. But you know what? I guess it's 1 p.m. on a Tuesday. It does make sense. If not, everybody is spending their lunch break playing Pixelmon. Uh, it's time to redeem over on the website and get all these in-game benefits. All right, I'm going to attempt to complete my order now. I don't know if it'll just instantly transfer over in game. I don't know how long it takes. I don't know what happens. I want to see. You'll receive your products shortly, it says. Thank you for the purchase. Redeem $40 bonus. Oh, there it is. Wait a minute. Thank you so much, Petrowski. You have unlocked the Brock rank for the whole server for one week. Oh, I got a bunch of stuff. I got the shiny key, shiny magma key. Wait, multiple shiny magma keys. Everybody else just got a bunch of cheese. Thanks to Petrowski who bought the battle pass. Everyone who's on there now will receive a shiny crate key. Everyone make sure to thank Petrowski. Okay, chill. Um, you know, I was only possible due to uh due to Phantom Phantom actually offering this little bundle and offering this little discount. So, dude, this is so cool. Let's see if anybody in chat pops open. This guy teleported right over here immediately. I'm gonna say good luck on your crates. Let's see if anybody is around to gamble. This guy came right here. He saw, he got some keys, and he was like, this guy said thanks. I don't even know if he, okay, he's chilling. Okay, let's start. To, what do we, oh my God, why do these keys have actual anima? Why do these keys, why do they put so much effort into these? Why do they actually have beautiful little animations and things? Everybody's saying thank you. I'm saying good luck. Let's go ahead and see what we got access to great ball key dude i got way more than i bargained for shiny key shiny key uh let's save the shiny keys for last let's build up in terms of what we do so let's do pokeball keys first you know it's the weakest of the keys what could you possibly get we'll do all oh, the shiny magmas are going to be amazing we'll do pokeball key pokeball key great ball key into ultra ball key okay where's the pokeball crate at right over here on the left side okay Let's go ahead and click it. 750 Poke Yen. Sure, honestly, I can get closer to buying that Stun Fist. 250. I feel like those... Okay, that can't have been... That can't have been good RNG. Okay, anyways, Great Ball Crate. One round of Pokemon. Oh, is it Bulbasaur? <gasps> wait, that's good, though. Wait, wait, wait. You received one random Pokemon. Wait, wait, wait. How do I... Oh, the PC is right over here. Let me see. Is it over here? Oh, I got... What? Wait, level 44 Hippo? Yo, wait, I'll take that. How do I check the uh, IVs? I'm pretty sure I can do that as well. Oh, wait, that's amazing. 
I think if I type slash IVs one, I put the hippo in my first slot. Yes, it'll show you the IVs. Look at this hippo's IVs. HP 22. I love that these have like in-depth stats, by the way. It's so, it is so important to any Pokemon game to have IVs and EVs and have them be accessible. I think it's actually a requirement after playing Pokemon for so long. So HP IVs 22, attack 20, defense is low, unfortunately. We kind of need that for a hippo. What are you going to do? Put it on 28, put it on 26. It's not bad. That's actually pretty good. The defense being low is unfortunate, but it's pretty freaking tanky. We can definitely work with that. Let's go ahead and do slash IV. Let's just check all of our Pokemon. I love checking the IVs on Pokemon, honestly. 83, our Squirtle's pretty, or that's our Rock and Rolla. Our Squirtle's pretty, or our Rock and Roll is pretty bad, unfortunately. Our Pidgey is really bad. Wow. Uh, and then IVs for, this makes sense. You want to have to farm for those. You want to have to farm for those good IV Pokemon. Our Squirtle is our best, actually. At 24 special attack, 26 attack can be relevant. Really good IVs, all except for 12 speed is the lowest. We'll take it. But we have more keys to open, okay? So let's go ahead and get over. This is the Ultra Ball key. Let's see what we've got. 1,000 yen. Okay, I'm going to have... What's my slash balance? Balance is 2,100 yen so far. I'm going to go for the shiny keys now. We'll do the shiny magma last. Where is that? Shiny crate over here. Random shiny. What are you going to give me in my party? Piplup! We get the shiny Piplup on the random. No! No way. How do I throw out the... No, no, no. Wait, wait. How do I... Okay, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I need you, I need you, I need you. Our first shiny... Shiny Piplup being the random is crazy. A shiny starter? That can't be like... That's gotta be rare in the wild. Oh, that's because of Politoed? Huge. The animation, the waddle. Okay, I need the next one. I need the next one. Give me one more shiny. Give me one more shiny. What do we got? Random shiny. Random Pokemon. What is this one? Pachirisu! A really, really, really pretty one. A very cool one visually. I don't know how to bring out. I don't know how to bring out multiple my Pokemon at once. I only know how to throw out the first one, so I apologize. But dude, can't go wrong with a shiny Pachirisu. I think I prefer. Ooh, visually the Pachirisu is better, but the Piplup rarity wise is really, really cool. Let me put away this Rock and Rolla. You are getting. I don't need you anymore, mate. Uh, we're actually gonna throw it and put away our Squirtle for now. We'll put away most things. We'll just keep our shinies out, honestly, for the time being. We've got three. Now, these are the one I'm the most excited for. Three shiny magma keys. Okay. Where are you at, shiny magma? Over here. Oh, dude. Look at uh, this is. So this is the key that if you just like spend $10, you get a free one of these, from my understanding. So let's go. It's a shiny malted Rhyhorn. So it's not as random. Wait, I got to see this. This looks insane. Dude, I can't, I, oh, the shiny Zardar, wow. Um, I love the Molten Pokemon. I, dude, oh, geez, they can't breathe. It's probably relevant for balancing. Um, let's see. We got the Larvitar. We got the Larvitar, the shiny Molten Larvitar, the one guy. Wait, that guy listed this for so much yen on the GTS as well. Oh, look at the cone tail. Dude, the visuals in Pixelmon, like, are so insane compared to certain other and whooper okay whooper is iconic what how a, what a now that's obviously look at his eyes dude the eyes this is obviously our highest end our best shiny so far the little mouth and obviously i went ahead and bought the rank as well so i do want to actually check out slash kit brock and that this is like a really fair kit i feel like like a few extra levels like four reckoning isn't op or anything like that like i like this kit a lot this is such a good beginner kit just 64 pokeballs so you don't have to worry about not being able to catch pokemon or running out of pokeballs early game like i really like the balancing behind that brock kit i feel like nothing here is like so insane uh for the money you're putting in i think it's like a pretty fair it, it seems good to me I also just really love, once again, I can't reiterate enough, how like you can really be a free-to-play player on this server and just get these similar rewards. I, th I think that is the coolest part of it. I think encouraging free-to-play on servers like this is amazing. Or, once again, kind of doing that little uh, pampering others strategy if you enjoy that. Or maybe one day you feel one way, maybe one day you feel the other. I just, mutually beneficial stuff, it's hard to complain about that. When one person buys, everybody wins. I really, really like that motto. The community is also really helpful. I probably should have been asking them way more questions. I asked them how to check the battle pass. If you just do slash battle pass, I, I, I thought that would work, but uh, shout out to the community. There we go. Slash battle pass. We can see standard pass. Oh, so there is, there is a free battle pass as well. Oh, that's so cool. So not only, oh, that's amazing. So I think I've earned this one. Level one, it seems like. Level two, have I claimed these? So I've already got, okay, perfect. I've already gained two levels on the free battle pass. 
just from playing that I've done what I've done today on on camera for playing the two hours that I have getting that's that's amazing oh that's super super cool uh, it was a fortress at level five premium is a five, five so I do have the, the premium battle pass I believe I can claim one more shiny crate key <laughs> yes please look at this I like this I like look at this like I love that the premium battle pass it doesn't have as many rewards as the free battle pass. Once again, encouraging free to play play, but the rewards are pretty big. You do get like a shiny fortress if you play long enough, but it's long stretches of nothing. Shiny Snorlax if you play long enough. Shiny, like, I like this. I think the encouraging of like getting these shinies going for these, look at the free, the free battle pass is chocked full of stuff. This is, this is how it should be. I feel like every single battle pass in every single game is like, oh, the free battle pass? Yeah, you get like one thing per 30 things the premium gets. I like that this is reversed. It's so much more balanced in my opinion. If you want to pay and you want to go above and beyond, you can. But it's not the normalized or expected way to play. I think that's, I think that's very, 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 very cool. Let's go ahead and use this shiny key just from the, uh, from playing... The battle pass. There we go. We get a chain link. It's, is that a shiny? Oh, it's a shiny. Thing. Dude, shiny. Um, wait, shiny. Uh, shiny Chimeco is actually super sick. So that'll be a cool one to uh to actually want specifically want to evolve in the future. It's gonna be super important. He's so small. It makes you want to beat him up. All right, but that is going to be it for me today, guys. Once again, if you want to check out this server, come play with me. Come hang out. Link in the description. And if you want to get 15% off, I thought it was 10%, but 15% off, I believe, with code Petrowski. Use code Petrowski in the shop when you check out at store.pixelfam.fun. And the link and everything for this server will be, once again, first thing in the description. It's a lot of fun, man. I can't, once again, you don't see Pixelmon servers very often or just Minecraft servers in general nowadays that really push and encourage that free-to-play part, um, but also allow you to support others if you want to. And it's just, I just can't get over. I know I'm a sucker for it. I know I'm sponsored, but I wouldn't, ha I don't have to harp on it this much, right? Like, yes, I'm sponsored, but if there's bad things about it, I just probably wouldn't say them or I would try to present them in a more positive way or like critique it, right? I, there's not really too much that I'm worried about here. Is in terms of comparing this to other Pixelmon servers, like if I were unsponsored, if I were to pick, this is what I would play. I just, I can't get over how much I love the whatever one person buys, everybody wins. I think that is one of the coolest ways to run a Pixelmon server that I've ever seen. Maybe that's I don't know. I think it's amazing. I think it's super unique, and I can't wait to play more of this. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more of this, let me know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel for daily, usually Pokemon MMO content, but maybe some more. Pixelmon Pixelmon or other multiplayer Pokemon aspects in general, judging the economies, judging the markets, seeing what's going on with them, seeing what the best multiplayer Pokemon games and formats are, since really Pokemon was always meant to be played with friends and with other people simultaneously. But like the video if you enjoyed it, dislike if not, subscribe to the channel, check out the Discord link down below for Pokemon more questions, uh, you can check out my Twitch, I usually stream Monday through Friday, but I've been off as I'm recording this, as I sort of focus on higher quality videos, uh, Discord link down below, once again, if you want to go above and beyond and support the content, YouTube membership, Twitch Primes, Twitch Subs, and PayPal slash Venmo do go a very long way, but are never needed for the content. Have a great day, I will see you guys later, peace Reno. Hey, thank you so very much for watching until the very end of the video. That means the world to me. And everyone on this list means even more to me for helping support the channel every single day. Thanks so much.